politicians around mid-Michigan are reacting to this historic news. Republican Congressman Tim Wahlberg took to social media, calling the entire process a, quote, travesty that was motivated by politics. Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin's campaign released a statement as well, saying she does not think this verdict will hurt Donald Trump's standing with his base. She expects this news to motivate the former president's supporters, leading to a fundraising boon similar to when he was originally charged. The Biden-Harris campaign released a statement saying, quote, no one is above the law. However, the campaign still expects Donald Trump to be the Republican nominee for president, and the race for the Oval Office will be decided at the ballot box. Well, as you would imagine, reaction continues to pour in this evening. Including from Republicans in Ingham County. The local GOP is holding a meeting tonight, and that's where our Josh Sanchez is. He is live in Lansing with more. Josh. Yeah, sure, Siobhan. Uh, the meeting just started, and I got to speak with co-chair Norm Schinkel uh, of the Ingham County Republican Party, and he says that uh, the verdict tonight doesn't change the mood for the meeting. He says that uh, he finds... He's, he said that he considers uh, today's verdict as another erosion in trust in the uh, justice system and compared this verdict to the 2020 election. It's sad that they couldn't find a jury with one person to do the right thing, uh, to recognize what's going on, to recognize there's no crime, uh, and still find them guilty on 34 felony counts. Think about that. Now, I also asked him if this is going to change the strategy for the Republican Party, either in the county or within the state, and he says he doesn't believe so. Other Republicans that were out here with him say that this has rather energized the base for President Trump voters. Here for you in Lansing, Josh Sanchez, 6 News. Thank you, Josh. This is historic news, and this story is still developing in New York and all over the country. So stay with Six. We will update you tonight on Six News at 11, and we'll have all of the latest updates and reaction on our website, WLNS.com, and on our Six News app.